One of the hardest transitions into ArcGIS Pro is learning about the relationship between layouts and maps. Back in the ArcMap days, when you wanted to create a copy of a layout, all you had to do was copy and paste an MXD in Windows Explorer. This is because maps and layouts were always connected to an MXD, but in ArcGIS Pro, it's not that easy because we're working with a project file. A project can have multiple layouts and maps. Sometimes it's hard to know which maps are connected to which layouts. So if you want to make a copy of a layout and a map and start fresh, you can do this by using page layouts. Let me try to show you page layouts with an example. I have ArcGIS Pro open. Let's say I make a copy of my layout for my project. So I'm going to right-click my layout and catalog. Now I'm going to click Copy. Then I'll just paste it into my Layouts folder. Now you see what happens here. It turns out that it doesn't make a new map. In fact, my new layout is still connected to my old map. So if I update the map in my new layout, that means that it will change in all my other layouts. Let me show you. I'll change the symbol for my airports in my new layout. Now if we look at the original map, it has this new symbol I just assigned it. This could be useful in some circumstances, but most of the time, at least for me, I want to use an existing template, and I want to copy it starting with a brand new layout and a brand new map. This would be exactly the same as creating a copy of your MXD in ArcMap. So how would I create a copy of a layout and a map in ArcGIS Pro? Well, there's actually a way for you to do that, and that's using a page layout. Let me delete this second layout as I don't need it anymore. So now I'm going to right-click on the layout that I want to make a copy of. Then, I'm going to select Save as Layout File. Then, you'll be able to save it anywhere you want. So far in the first step, I saved a page layout. Now let's import it. To import a page layout, go to Catalog and make sure you're in the Project tab. Now right-click the Layouts folder and click Import. Now all you have to do is find the page layout that you saved in the previous step. So here's my page layout of Cambodia. I'm going to double click this page layout and it's going to add it into ArcGIS Pro. Now do you see what happened here? Not only did it import a layout, but it also imported a new map. But what's important to note here is that the maps for the first and second layouts are not tied to each other. So let's say I change the airport symbology for the second layout. I'll just go ahead and make it this red circle. When I open up the first map, you can see that the airport symbology doesn't change. It keeps the original airport symbology because the new layout is tied to a different map. I hope that makes sense because I found that this can be a bit confusing for those transitioning from ArcMap. Alright, that's about all I want to show you today. In this video, I explained how page layouts work. You've learned that it's a way to duplicate your existing layout and map. But the main difference is that it creates a new layout and map that's not connected to the original. Thanks for watching today. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more great videos. See you next time.